good communication. See, calm means with, mutation could be mutation in a sense also because we rise and fall in consciousness by those that we associate with. That's why you want to associate with uh, that which supports your highest and greatest magnificent purpose and mission. And that's not, that mission and purpose and mission isn't the totality of who and what you are. But it's the, it would be the full, each of us being the fullness of who we are. And to realize that, called self-realization, God-realization. To have God-consciousness, which means we are in tune with our, our God-Goddess, our divine parents, uh, that we're all eternal. And we've always been, we always will be. This is our divine nature. And communication, in a sense, is our communion with one another when we're able to recognize and respect who each person is. We're not things. It's not when we look at people, what can I get from you? What do you have to offer me? I'll see if you're worth my time. It depends on what you're looking for. And what you want to, in communication, in communion, um, there's basics. If we want to have good communication, we have to recognize and have affinity for that person. We can have affinity for everyone. We may not like what they're doing in the sense we're accepting for ourselves, but we perceive them at who they truly are. And you recognize them because they are souls. They are spirit souls. And when you recognize that and you are that, you acknowledge that first. And then you look to see what you can agree with. And one of the things we can agree with, everybody is perceiving everything from their own viewpoint. And to be able to communicate is to be able to understand and hear what the other person has to communicate and be 100% responsible for actually understand or hearing what or getting what that person is communicating and 100% responsibility for delivering your communication in a way that the other person has received it and is in... Um, you know, knows what you're talking about and what you're communicating. Yes. I don't like to use the word understanding because you're standing under something. Mm -mm. Don't you know, stand under anything like that. So good communication, you got to respect, you got to acknowledge there's people, persons or beings. You got something you have an agreement that you're empowering each other or whatever it is that you have in common and that you also, you communicate in a way that's empowering and nurturing for them and also as well as yourself. Yeah, so good communication uh, is harmonious. <laughs>